Hello everybody, welcome back to Cooking with Brendan David. So, you might hear that tonight. What? That's Poor. the other one being very verbal. <laughs> Poor old Nipper. Poor little girl being verbal. I don't know what she's wanting. We done gave her a bunch of treats and everything. She's still carrying on. I don't know. Something ain't right with her still yet. I was trying to make sure I had everything out. Where's my gravy spatula? What are you going to do here? I'm going to make some gravy. Not mine. <laughs> oh, gravy and biscuits sounds good. No, it ain't what it is. Anyway, hello everybody. Welcome back to Cooking with Brenda and David. That's Nipper. Being vocal. So tonight, I'm going to make something. I was thinking about it a couple times. I don't know. Maybe Mommy's telling me to make it. It's been a long time. I remember Mommy making it two or three different occasions. And my one of my sisters remembers it too. So, me and her both remember different places. Nipper, it's okay, honey. It's okay, all right? That's fine. Everything's good. Go ahead and finish good. the story. So anyhow, Mommy used to make this, and I, only one thing I can't remember is if Daddy ate this over toast or if he ate it over uh, uh, biscuits. And I'm going to go with biscuits. I like my gravy and my beans over light bread. I always have, so... <laughs> I probably have it over the toast or just light bread. Well, I'm going to give it a try then. So what, what kind of gravy is this? I don't understand it. It's chopped beef and gravy. Oh, okay. And I'll tell you, I, you can get them little jars of chopped beef. They're about four, four and a half ounces. Then you can use a little jar for a drinking glass. You know, orange juice glass. I think I remember this stuff too. But they're $7 finger. and something. So I've also, also used this. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've made this before too, but I just, you know, sitting there thinking and I thought, you know what? Mommy did make that. Mommy had to make stuff as cheap as she could and get by and still make the, I don't know where she ever got the recipe. And I remember that on two occasions when I was pretty young. And then I remember some older times. So I'm going to chop this beef up. Now look, I'm using this. It's only, both of them together is four ounces. And that's okay with me. I know, that looks good all by itself. I know, i got to watch David. He loves stuff like this. Don't you touch that. I need most of it. Hmm. Or you'll have less. See the real thin slices? Hmm. You want to bite? Yes, I do. That's all you're getting. I'll oh, give it a pre-test here. That's all you're getting. Tell me if it's salty. I don't think it is. That's no, good. It's not as salty as the one in the jar. If you ever make it and you use the jar one, do not put no salt. It will be so salty you can't eat it. Well, this one you'll have to put salt in this one. This one's got salt, but it's not going to make it over salty. Even with the liquid, it's hard to eat that other one. Okay. It really is. I'm just going, I don't know if I can, uh-oh. What? It's going to be hard to cut this. You want me to do it? It ain't that. It's flimsy. You got to try to hold the meat <laughs> and stop it from going. What did your mom use in the old days? I know that wasn't available back then. Uh-huh. This has oh. been around a long time. I do remember this when we moved into the city in the county. <laughs> The city and county, you know, the city is in the, down in a little valley in, in between a couple of mountains. So but it was a nice place to grow up out there in the country and then come to the city some. It was nice. Except for the outhouse. You didn't like the outhouse. No. <laughs> <laughs> we lived in North Carolina a couple of times and we had bathrooms then. Didn't have to worry about the outhouses. I was always afraid of a black snake or something being in there, and it very well could have been, you know. So just chop this up. You know, you don't want great old big long pieces in it. It's a gravy. In the meantime... Well, that looks a pretty good job. Yeah, pretty. It ain't too bad. Pretty good. But you get back... What? <laughs> He'll try to get my meat. Did you like it? Yeah, I Probably will in all the liquid that... Okay, I got a stick of butter. Now, 
David said, you get that off the internet? And I said, yes. I know how much, I know what to put in it. Let me say that. But Mommy didn't have no direction. She just made it. You know? Well, you used to make it too. What'd yeah, you do? Yeah, and that's the way I do too. But I don't know. I'm going to try to, I got a recipe online that looks pretty good or seems pretty close to what I remember. What I need is the measurements is what I need it to make oh. this. Hold on a minute. Nipper, are you showing yourself tonight? Huh? No. Go back. Get in bed. Get. I'm going to have to get ugly. Mommy don't want to spray you. I know. It's pitiful in here. Go, go to bed. Go. 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 That ain't the end of it, I'm sure. But anyway. <laughs> Oh, what's okay, wrong I'm getting this butter to melt, and you just melt the stick of butter. Maybe she's trying to tell you something, like Lassie or something. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, she wants me to stand like this over top of her while she eats, and I was doing that. I've already fed her too. We both give her treats. She wants in, she wants out, or she wants them in, and then she'll go to one end and go crazy, and spouse will go on the other end and have a freak out and then they're fine and everybody cuddles up together here between me and David and goes to sleep. That seems to be the routine anymore, don't it? But when I go to bed, there's two of them that follows me and that's babies and spouse. And they can be sound asleep and all of a sudden, boom, on the back. I get spouse will jump on now before I even get, get it pulled back. Nipper. She's trying to tell you something. Chill. Watch, I won't spray her, but watch. Watch this. All she's got to do is see it. They know. Hey. Hey. You better get in yonder. Get. I might have to spray her because she's hard-headed. She really is. Well, just leave her alone. She'll she's be a right. hard-headed one. Maybe I won't. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try not to. She'll be all right. I don't want to do the whole video, David. Okay? Now, the recipes I've seen online called for... A cup of milk or, or a cup and a half of milk and a cup and a half of water. But we've always used canned milk, so I'm going to go with one cup of canned milk and two cups of water. That ought to be good. Well, that stick of butter looks pretty healthy in there, don't it? No. <laughs> hey, the thing about this, it is, it isn't good for you, but it's got so much water, it's watered down some. Hopefully. That's why it's good to bake with real butter. You gotta have the measurements right when you bake. But I know we've had this. I just didn't have a recipe to tell our people, so I was trying to find one that would look close to how we put in what we put in it. So your dad used to use it over his biscuits or something. Well, you can have it for dinner hmm. or breakfast. We had it for dinner usually when we had it. You used biscuits? I think. Left you don't use biscuits, I'm going to tell you. My daddy wanted biscuits and he liked mommy's biscuits. Mommy made some good biscuits. I make them taste like it, but they don't look like it. But mommy's, if you know what Hardy's biscuits or uh, Bojangles biscuits look like, then that's what my mama's biscuits look like and taste like. They're good. And we didn't always have buttermilk to put in them. Okay, calm down there. Calm down. I'm about to fall asleep. Well, don't fall asleep on me, dearie. Alright, I've got three quarters of a cup of all-purpose flour, and you can use all-purpose. You don't need self-rising. Self-rising is to make a biscuit rice if you want to use that. You don't need it to rise. Okay, let's try to get some of this in there. When you want to cook your roux enough to, I need this where I can hold on to it. I like this skill. It's got a handle and they don't burn you. Yeah, that's mom's old pan. 
I don't have a big one like this, but he had one. So, <laughs> I said I bought, didn't have a real big one. Uh, that was mom's. It's it's only two layers of steel. No, it ain't. It's three, I believe. It's either three or five. But yours are seven layers. Yeah, mine's seven. You say <laughs> that every time. I'm going to tell you what. I just got tickled you used to say it all the time. <laughs> Well, it's the truth. I mean, it is the truth. And, and guess what? They're probably making it with more than that now. Somebody tell me if you've got a set of them, tell me if they're more than seven or eight layers. I, I can't remember for seven or eight. I think they're seven. Well, we've told the story before that like that pan, and I think I got two more over the years all I was gotten gone or something's yeah. happened to them. But um, we bought those and... 1969 or 68 69 I believe it was mom dad mom and dad they cost a lot of money back then they had to make payments yeah. on them that's too thick i i don't believe that's right and they're, I don't have nothing like they're called salad masters is what now. they were called salad masters i don't think that that's enough uh liquid for this so i'm just gonna put a little bit of vegetable oil in it okay loosen it up it's really thick oh no look I mean, look, and I wouldn't even have all the flour in there. Ugh. Somebody's recipe might not be too good. What happened to yours? I t what am I telling you? I've done stood here and told you like two times. But I know he never listens. <laughs> you forgot. No, I didn't, David. Okay, everybody, did y'all hear me tell David that... Um, I knew what went in it. I just didn't know a recipe. So I was looking online for a recipe that was close to what we used and this is. But I think it needs more liquid. And I still think it does. If you need the cooker, Rue. I still got some to go. And it's, so I don't know. I think I might need all of it though. <laughs> David, it's okay. Just add a little bit of oil or use less flour. But I think that I need what I got going on for that much meat. I don't know. Can I he's just have mine like that? that? He's laughing, but he's, <laughs> he's, um, you know, I'm going by somebody else's recipe. It'd be better off to go buy mine or just. Well, that's uh, what I'm trying to say. But I didn't have a recipe. You just don't remember it. I don't remember it. Okay. That's what I was trying to find out. I think I've made it maybe twice since I've left home. You forget about them old-fashioned recipes as time evolves. Sometimes, if you don't do them, I guess. Or Not something. always you don't. So I still yeah. cook some of them, but... Um, I found another one of Mom's notebooks that's got some good stuff in it. I wanted to show it to you. I haven't shown show it to you. Show me that, will you? Yeah, I found some. He's got recipes in this tin, and there are so many of them that no, I no. either don't know what I'm cooking. Well, some of it's kind of vague. You don't understand it. That's why we haven't probably done too many of them. But some of those go back to her great-grandmother, and she was full-blooded Cherokee. So. Mm, that'd be good to learn some uh, fireside things. Yeah. You know, you can well, I don't, always I don't cook think a pot of beans if you can keep the fire I mean, hot. That's why after she was growing up, I mean, you know. And you can cook a pot of rice if you keep the fire hot and cook them something out in the middle of the woods or outside of your teepee. <laughs> I was at this, I was at a friend's house I can't get time. you to go camping or nothing. You ain't going to get listen, no teepee. Listen, when I was younger, one of my friends... Well, I was probably in my 30s. One of my friends, I went to her house and she had just bought it. Guess what was in her yard? Well, she had a nice house and then there was a, a house trailer and it was okay too, but then there was a teepee. And I'm like, wow, I'd love to have that teepee in my yard. <laughs> so I'm going to put me some pepper in here and it calls for about a quarter of a teaspoon. That one did, but I'm going to put it on how about that? It's easier to do it like this if you know what you want. Well, that's probably maybe about a quarter teaspoon. If I don't think it's enough, I add some more. But I don't, we don't eat a whole lot of pepper. And I'm going to add just a, maybe the same thing, a quarter teaspoon of salt, okay? Just I should have done it the same way so it would look alike. That's not as salty as it is, and I'm going to tell you the name of it, and it may be in a different name in your 
store. But this is called Carl Budding. And I'm going to let him take a picture of that. I've already done it. Uh-oh, I threw the rest away. But it's Carl Budding beef. They got other things, too, where you can make a sandwich. I throwed it in the trash, David. It's all right. I take a I'm sandwich of that. I'm sorry for the cat crying and the... I told you she'd be all right. The cat crying and... She ain't I crying. She's just talking. I don't know what's going on with this. She's trying to tell you... I've got the milk and stuff for a certain amount. She's just trying to tell you to fry some chicken. Fry some chicken? I'm going to tell you, there's two of my cats that like my food. And I told David, we got to quit giving it to them because well, they're going to have high blood pressure and high cholesterol. Count me, that's three to one. So we and want diabetes. chicken. diabetes. <laughs> three to one. We want chicken tonight. Their food has something good in it. It ain't like country ham and stuff that we eat or you eat. I don't eat country ham. I don't like it. Oh, I love it. I like pork chops, but I don't want to get a good. I don't want to get a real good smell of that thing, or I won't eat it. Just do what you're gonna do and get it to cooking. Let's see. I I like to get this like this, and then I'm gonna get this even down a little bit here. I think I'll. That's, I don't think I'll use the rest of the flour, and then maybe I need to, but I don't think I need to. That's a nice looking roux, I think. You say a nice looking glue. Roux. Roux. What's a roux? <laughs> it's a thickening that you make gravy with. Okay. I haven't put no garlic in it, but maybe I should. I'm going to tell you, I've gotten used to drinking this turmeric tea and just been busy and got so tired and didn't make one probably for a couple of weeks and I forgot about it and I thought, well, in a couple of days I'll make me some because I want to keep drinking it. Now I'm thinking it's been a couple of weeks and my body's feeling it. That stuff really does help calm down the fibromyalgia and stuff and the uh, inflammation type rheumatoid or immune system inflammation type thing. Works pretty good, I think. I still take medicine too, but that's been helping me get through the summer, I do believe. Now, let me get some milk here. I'm putting in, a, uh, what I'm going to do is put the water first, and then I'll add the milk. Well, be careful. I will. Watch what this is going to do. Never pour water on an oil grease fire or something. Before we got fire extinguished, for that. Oh, yeah, I can see what that kind of mess would make if we had to have it. I'll probably end up needing more water, too, or something. Now, listen, she's going to act like she's all stressed and everything. I ain't never heard her do like that. She does it every night. Uh, not that bad. Yes, yeah, she does. No, she don't. Spaz does. It's her. She gets in the hallway doing that too. Do me a favor, run some more water in that other glass there. Just in case. This big one? Yeah. Just put about half of it, that's all. And if it's okay, honey. Quite all right. Now see, I don't think that's enough pepper, so I'm gonna add just a little bit more. Gravy like this is something that needs some pepper for the taste. It really does. And it's okay, Nipper. It's all right, honey. It'll bend in perfectly. Here, let me give her a piece of this. Guess maybe, what? Maybe that'll calm her down. Here. I'm going to do something here. I just can't believe this. What a, what a recipe that is so wrong. Well, you ain't never made it in a long time. That's no, probably... I haven't. I should have just made it my way, but I didn't know how much to tell them I was using. Okay, I'm sorry, y'all, that I'm adding. You're getting the idea if you make gravy, and I'll try to get this figured out for you. I think I already know. We want to start over? No, but, but if you add all that flour, 
You're going to add probably another uh, couple of tablespoons of, of oil. And then add some more of the flour. And then you're going to have to start adding your liquid. And it ain't going to be enough, I don't think. Sounds it's very confusing. rich, though. It's very rich gravy. Okay. Nipper, it's okay, honey. It's okay. Now I'm going to put this in here. I should have had that in the bowl, but I didn't. I shopped it. Nipper, go chill out, honey. It's okay. I don't want to let her out. No, don't let her out. Because them raccoons and stuff are bad. Her, and yes. she started to fight one, that poor little thing, and that thing was come, getting ready to come and get her. And they were lunging at each other, and it was so much bigger than her, and I oh, was yeah, afraid. A raccoon would shred her to pieces. Yes, it would. And I went out there, and it lunged at me. I think it probably got a dose of rabies on it. Okay, I'm trying to keep a figure. I'm going to tell them just in a minute how much more I use. She's got me worried. I don't know what's wrong with her. Is she hurting or anything? Or? I don't think so. She's just wanting spaz in here is what it is. I ain't never seen her carry on that much. I don't know what the world... I don't know how they could make this much that they were making with that little bit of ingredient. If you use all that flour, you're going to have to have another couple of tablespoons of oil or something, whatever you want to use for your gravy butter. I already had a whole stick, so I used some oil. Well, I'm going to be like the old commercial, where's the beef? It's gone, buddy. It's gone. I think you need a couple more packages. It looks good, don't it? It looks good, but I like mine a little bit more thicker but with the... But it's still thickening a little more, maybe. I don't know. I want more beef. May okay, have to put some hey, country ham in there. It's like breakfast food. Hush it, even if we're eating it for supper, quit you griping. I ain't griping. Nipper! David, hold. We'll be right back. All right. Okay, look. This one does need salt. I'm sorry that I have uh, uh, had the key. Hold on a second. I got it back to working now, somehow or another. We'll see. Without oh, this show ain't turning out very good. Maybe we ought to start over. No, let's don't. Let's leave it. I, I think if the show is natural, it's a good, a better show. I am going by someone else's recipe. I don't know how they got it to work out, but I couldn't. So I had to add, add, add. Well, it doesn't look like there's enough beef. So I did have to add salt. If you use the Carl Budding, you will have to use salt. And I've got plenty of pepper. It smells good. It smells like the old Tommy gravy. Mmm. You smell it? Come over here and stand over it. I was just thinking about old Tommy. I know. You don't have to have a bunch of meat for every meal. Well, matter back, of fact, maybe I can get your cholesterol down, but not with gravy. Well, back in them days, you didn't have a whole lot of meat either. Isn't that nice? Wait till you see what I do that's extra. Country ham. No. Chicken. You got this beef and it's got salt, nothing. I don't want it to be too thick, you know? I like it thick. So all together I've added, I haven't even used the whole three quarters of a cup. You know what, when you use this stick of butter, you need to start out with what you think on that flour. Probably a half a cup, or half of that three quarters. But all together, I've used right around another cup of liquid mix, a half of a half of a, a, a half of a half a cup of that and a half of a cup of this water. So you don't have to use any more cream if you don't want to because it's rich enough. But it's got to be rich for what you're going to do with it. Okay. Well, David, this looks pretty good to me. It should have done cooked the gravy taste away, right? Good, look at it. Looks great. And keep your edges. Hey, I'm gonna tell you what, whoever invented this was wonderful. <laughs> I love this thing to make gravy. I didn't know we, that they ever made something like this. See, I was raised back in there. We didn't know stuff like that. No, we found I found out about stuff like this, but I always made it without all this extras that you can get to make it easier. 
Seemed like everything had to go hard sometimes. Still does sometimes, don't it? Yeah, still does. And I worked, raised a kid, and single mom, you know, it was hard. Never know me time. But I'm so glad that I had the opportunity. I got a good daughter. Good granddaughter. My granddaughter's really piling in the money. <laughs> I'm so glad. She's got a lot of student loans. Well, y'all, I guess what I'm going to do is try to uh, finish this up here. I'm going to turn it off. Okay. Well, I need to keep stirring while I'm waiting. Oh, Lord, David. David. What? Nothing. I'm just trying to get that dried off and then I'm going to do something here. I don't want it to get too thick though. That's why I'm trying to watch it. Getting too thick, see? See, that's what I mean. You, it'll get too thick on you then when you turn it off. That's why you just keep some water. Keep adding some water. You need it to be a right consistency. I like it thick. It'll thicken up even more. Just watch what I'm going to do. All right, now that's better. So let me get this going here before I'm going to do it on this plate, okay? Okay, David, let me see. Now, what I got here is toast. I got it covered up. Look, that is the nicest dish towel I got. Some uh, subscribers sent that. That's top quality, but yeah, it's beautiful. It's Terry on the other side. Mm, it's pretty nice, huh? It? Yeah, it's nice. nice it's and thick. thick and high quality. Pioneer woman. I thought it was Pris, Pris, uh, Pris, Prince, 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 uh, <laughs> Princess, Princess. I got to stutter again. Gosh, I ain't stuttered in years. Oh. Well, something done change on me. Ever since I had that operation, maybe things has messed up what little bit of mind I had. Ain't that the truth? It don't take long. Well, anesthesia. So you got it's messy though here. An old toaster. And you got some... I'm sure you'll probably want more, David, okay? All right. But just hold on if you do. It's fine. Now, you serve this over toast, and it is good. It really is good served over that toast. And i tell you what. I don't know what other people garnish with, but I don't usually garnish with things that Let's try it and see. Well, I don't garnish with things usually that are, um, that I'm not going to eat. And I like to make it pretty, but that beef is a, looks like a color of red. Why is it, you know, your head's, now just drizzle a, a few pieces of tomato over that. And don't that look good? You know what look better on top of it? What? Bacon. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't make bacon for this recipe. I know. None. So do you want more on top of it? That's good. Is that good? And okay. And then what we're gonna have is a little a little a little bowl of um, apples to go with it. But I want him to taste this. Oh, you mean some fried apples? Yeah. Let's see where they at right there. Woo! That's Woo. hot. Woo! That's good looking too, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Fried apples goes with gravy. I tell you, this goes with gravy and fried chicken and everything. Maybe you may want a knife for it. Come up here and you eat it and taste it and whatever else you want to do with it, okay? Right. If you want a tomato, I mean. Mmm, isn't that gravy good? <laughs> 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 no, I'm kidding. It's good. It's good. I'm just joking. You probably just got in trouble, buddy. No, it's good. 
It really is. I think it's good. And mm -hmm. it's old fashioned, you know, and it's something that can go. That Carl Budding, I think they're still, I don't remember, but I think they're still less than a dollar a pack or right at a dollar. If it's still a dollar, then that's good. And also, I got you a couple slices of peaches. It is good. And I'll take some of them apples to go with it. That's, that okay. is really good. No kidding. You want them on the plate or you want them in a bowl? I'll take them in the plate. They're good right beside that gravy, isn't it? Yeah. Mixing it up don't bother me. Now. I know it don't me either. Which side you want to do? I don't care. You put it right there where that fork is. That light's eating me up up there above me. I think it's I got hot, isn't it? Well, I'm sunburned already on the back of my neck, so. All right, how's that look? That's not making it any better. That look okay? Yeah, it looks great. Good. Yes, ma'am. It'll fit good enough for the governor. You want your peaches on there? Yeah, I'll take a couple of them. They're in here. <laughs> we'll keep them cold. Our little black ants are back. Are we going to do any canning? Yeah, I'm going to try to. I'm hoping to if I get my... This is supposed to be a peach, but I don't, I'm not sure. Looks like an apple. Well, I know it does, but it ain't going to taste no, like no apple. It's a peach. Because that's what we bought was peaches, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're really good. What a heck of a dinner, huh? But you know what? It's good together. Give it a try. It's really good together. You can have hash browns too with it. But I, I garnish with something we eat. That tomato's good on top of stuff like that, really is, or beside it. Okay. All right, y'all. Well, I hope you give this a try, a whole country breakfast, and let me know what you think, or you can have it for dinner. What you got cooking next uh, time, you think? Do you next know? time's dessert. Yay! Mm. I think it's going to be a Hawaiian cake or a co or this cookie that's got raspberries and white chocolate chips. Mm -mm -mm. I don't eat no dessert. I want something else. Those raspberries and white chocolate chips are good. Mm. Well, anyway, y'all, um, We'll see you soon, and thanks everybody. Thanks to the new subscribers for joining us, and thanks for all the gifts and cards. We do appreciate it, and all. And um, mm -hmm. y'all, if you give this a try, let me know what you think. We look forward to hearing from you, and please share and subscribe. And stay safe, my little stay sister. Stay safe. The COVID's going again. Yeah, my little sister got it. Well, she ain't so little anymore, but my glasses. She's are still so the youngest that one. Like, uh, but she got she got the COVID, so. I wonder if anybody ever has to clean their glasses as much as I do. Mm -hmm. I don't know either, but I'm going to tell you what. These things, I must clean them five or six times a day or more. <laughs> well, anyhow, y'all, we'll see you real soon. We'll probably do another video here in a couple of days. As soon as that one's loaded, we'll get another one. And literally, it'll take a couple days to load. <laughs> and we love you all. Thanks to everybody for subscribing to us. We do appreciate it. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll see you soon. Bye.